Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I did start an astrology series that's centered around nails and the horoscope of each sign so if you're into that, stay tuned and if you're not, feel free to skip over the astrology section. So I am jumping right into nail prep today. I am just going to push back my cuticles and clean them up a bit as it has been a while. I'm then going to take this cuticle flame bit and I'm honestly just going by my cuticle to lift it up a little bit more and I'm making sure that I'm not holding it at an angle. I have it completely parallel to my nail. We're really only focusing on the lifted dead skin rather than touching the nail plate. Now I'm going to take these cuticle nippers and I'm, I'm going to trim my cuticles. I'm not trimming too much and I'm also making sure I do not cut any living tissue. At this point in time, you typically will add nail tips, glue on nail tips, and proceed with primer and dehydrator and all that. But because this is just for content, I am going to be creating a peel off base coat with cuticle oil and top coat. And I will be curing this top coat that I use only for all of my peel off base coats in the lamp for 30 seconds. And now I'm adhering my nail tips with base coat and a gel X lamp. So I do like a bit of a moon cut shape for my nail so I am using my sanding band to quickly shape that and then I'll be blending the tip with the nail using the sanding band as well.
I will now be applying base coat on the entire nail and I'll be curing this in the lamp for 30 seconds. For today's poly gel, we'll be using clear poly gel and I'm using it from this brand. I'm also using alcohol as my slip solution. Normally, I would use McCart's clear poly gel. They literally have the clearest clear poly gel on the market. But because most of my poly gel is at my salon, I do have to use the other brands that are in my drawer at home. So I'm just kind of exploring different brands. You will be seeing me pick up more than others. So yeah, that is why you do see uh, inconsistency of brands. So let's jump into Gemini. So I am doing a recreation set for Gemini. I did want to keep things mainly green because I felt like it was so you. Mercury is ruled by green and emerald and everything about this set just screams that. Okay, so let's jump into the astro. For Gemini's forecast, we do have Jupiter and Gemini. As I mentioned in my previous videos, Jupiter is about luck, blessings, expansion, growth, and all of that good stuff. With this being in the sign of Gemini, I do have some predictions on how this transit could affect us on a collective scale for the next year and some change. Gemini rules technology, so I'm thinking we'll see new advancements in technology, maybe even a new car model launching or a phone model. In terms of social media, I think a lot more people will be online a lot more than they usually are. And I think a new social media app may appear or a new feature on a social media app that will possibly become extremely popular. I can also see a lot of topics becoming big online that will circulate. I can see a lot more debates and ideas being exchanged in the social media space. I could also see more people taking online courses, online education, and attending online school as well. I will say to be careful taking on too many tasks that you can handle. Around this time, you'll act really feel like you can do it all. And you probably could, but you could also face the risk of burnout. I think everyone is going to be extremely busy around this transit. I would honestly use this transit to be very open-minded. You could take advantage and maybe talk out misunderstandings or have hard conversations that you normally wouldn't have had been able to have before. People are going to be more understanding than usual during this transit as well, so really embrace mental flexibility. I also think that there may be action taken on how we intake information as a society and also touch on the low literacy rates that are happening in this country. So now let's talk about how this would affect Gemini's personally. Just like Taurus was in the past year, Gemini, you'll be a lot more luckier than usual during this transit. This is your chance to experience immense personal, professional, and spiritual growth. You'll feel like you can do almost everything and anything under in this world and i advise you take on that desire and experience everything to the fullest you will start receiving more compliments gifts and money and you'll also find yourself being more generous and sociable if you are getting any travel or higher educational opportunities during this transit take advantage of it and if you can it will benefit you in the long run if you are a taurus rising you should see some gains in income and money due to the transit expanding your second house of finances some capricorn and aquarius risings should see new opportunities opportunities at work, especially a new job, and you may also develop a new daily routine. You may also be looking into holistic remedies for your health. Leo Risings should really use this time to network. Social media will be your best friend if you have a business or if you're a content creator, or if you're looking for some online communities to join, you'll definitely find the right ones for you. Libra Risings, this is also a good time to do some publishing, seek higher education, maybe even explore therapy of some sort, and this is a good time for travel for you too as well. So now that's all I had for Gemini. I hope you guys enjoy this crazy busy transit and if you guys are interested in chart readings let me know in the comments. I'm thinking of somehow implementing personal readings in these horoscope videos with consent of course but you all let me know how you would feel about that. If you'd like to see other signs previous to this one make sure you check out my zodiac series playlist. I've been doing this series since last year although I'm not the biggest fan of the older ones I did from last year but they are there. Well I'm gonna stop yapping and let you guys enjoy the rest of the application.
So here's how my application is looking. We do need to wipe off the sticky layer from the poly gel so that we're able to file. Now we are ready for gel art. I am using a wide variety of gels for this nail art. So I'm gonna start off with the thumb. I am gonna make this an aura nail and I do have to mix these two colors together just to get a dark forest green. I will be applying two layers of this gel polish, curing them for 30 seconds each. So the next step of this design, I am doing an aura design. So I'm adding a little bit of white. This time I'm not using an airbrush today. I'm using a nail sponge only because I did get some requests on how to do aura nails without an airbrush. And I felt kind of bad just continuously doing airbrush nails. So I thought I would show you guys on this nail how I do the aura nails without an airbrush. Thank you. 
so you do have to build up the opacity when you do the aura nail this way so i did about maybe two to three layers but you can do as many as you'd like and as many as you see fit or your preference now that I'm done with all of that, I am going to top it off with some top coat and I'll be curing this in the lamp for 60 seconds. So for the next part of this nail, I'm wiping away the shiny layer from the top coat. It didn't really work all that well. I did end up buffing out the shine from the nail because I'm attempting, heavy emphasis on attempting to do an isolated chrome design. I was trying to do a 3D butterfly look. You guys will see my complete fail of this design. Moving on to the next nail, I'm applying top coat once again on this finger. I'm curing this in the lamp for 60 seconds and we are doing a chrome for this nail as well. So we are going to do the 3D art portion on this nail once again. I'm using rhinestone gel and I'm not being too particular about this. I don't think this design or this finger needs to be all that neat. After I had cured that in a lamp for 60 seconds, I'm going in with the Born Pretty Metal Painting Gel and I'm going over the 3D art with this. Moving on to the next nail, I'm mixing this color too. I kind of wanted a more, I don't know, I wanted a more lively green. The green that I wanted, I did not have in a gel polish bottle, so I custom mixed a color. And I'll be painting the entire nail with this color with two layers for 30 seconds each.
and I went in with that chrome once again. I did not add top coat this time because I wanted that grainy finish almost like in the inspiration picture. So this next finger, I'm mixing black gel polish with top coat. I wanted a jelly black color. And again, I did not have this on hand or in a gel polish bottle. So I custom mixed it. And I believe I only did one layer, maybe two. And I cured this in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to move on to doing the French. I'm mixing a yellow and a green together. And this will be the French tip on that finger. I'll be curing that in the lamp for 30 seconds. And apply another layer of that and cure for 30 seconds again. Moving on to the last finger, we're using blooming gel today. I'm using a very sparing amount. You don't want too much, but I'd still want the nail art to actually bloom. And I'll take my dotting tool with some white gel polish and just kind of make some dots. I wasn't doing anything specific with this portion at all. I am now topping the entire set off with top coat and I'll be carrying this in the lamp for 60 seconds. So I want to show you guys something that was the picture that I saw on Amazon before I purchased these charms and this is what was sent to me and I was completely catfished and that was the reason why I had to do a 3D butterfly because I got catfished and it was sent the wrong thing. That was why it took me so long to do the Gemini video because that happened and I got frustrated but I was like I need to get this out so I did. So now I'm just doing the nail decorations for all the nails. I'm not doing anything in particular.
So here are how my nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm actually a fan of this grunge junk nail look. I do like grunge nails and I haven't really explored junk nails like that. So this was kind of cool. I did like it. I have everything that I used linked in the description box. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you all in my next video. Gemini, I hope you guys enjoyed your season and I hope you have fun for the rest of the year.